Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash, the bonds of the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in truth and in sincerity. This is a part two to the Hebrew edification of Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, the 5th and 6th verse. In this part, we will be dealing with the 6th verse of uh, Jeremiah, the 26th chapter. All right. So we're going to start off with reading. Um, well, we actually can start off reading the 5th verse and we'll read all the way down to the 6th verse. It says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Now, verse 6 is what we'll be breaking down in Hebrew in this lesson. Verse 6, In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. All right. So let's read it through in the Hebrew and we're going to break it down accordingly. So it says, Bayam Yawa. Excuse me. We'll start there from the top. It says, Bayam Yawa Ta Washai Yahawada Wa Yasha Allah Yashakan La Patak Waza Shamwa Ashar Ya kwa ra wa ya hawa tazadak na wa. All right, so ba yam ya wa in ba yam de ya at the end making the plural wa his so in his days. Tha was shy, which that Tha is uh, a future tense conjugation of uh, Yeshai, all right, which means save. But Tha was shy is shall be saved, shall be saved. Yahawada, which is how you say Judah or Iuda, um, which is the chief tribe of the nation of Israel. Um, and this represents the southern kingdom in this context. Yahawada, which means uh, Yahweh thanks or praise of Yahweh. All right. Wa Yasharala, which Yasharala in this context is representing the northern kingdom, which Yasharala is the, the name or the title of the nation of well, um of the 12 tribes of Jacob, the nation is named Israel or Yasharala. Um, so, but Yasharala meaning he is a prince of the power. Yah, he, uh, Shar, prince, and Allah, power. Yasharala, okay, and Israel. Ya Shakan Ya in the front is a future tense. So when you see Ya in the front or Tha in the front, both of those signify future tense, depending on the the word, of course. So it says Ya Shakan shall shall dwell. Shakan meaning dwell. La Batak, which La meaning two. Batak meaning trust, or also in this context, meaning safety. Batak. All right. 
shall dwell safe safely. Alright. Alright, or shall dwell in safety to you know, trying to you know the proper you know, the best way to translate it. It says Waza and this za meaning this, it can mean this, that, you know, but za in this context meaning this and this sham wa sham name wa his and this his name sham wa name his ashar which means which ya kwa ra so we just remember we mentioned the the ya in the front conjugated of a word is future tense so ya shall Kwa uh, which Kwa means call to call and shall be called Yahawa. So, but for those who say we don't have his name, and but they settle for Jesus Christ to call him and Most High. But it, it's written right here his name is, it shall or shall be called, may I say, Yahawa. But Jehovah mean he exists, he is. Um, it's the name of the Most High, the God of Israel. It says, Tazadak Nawa. Tazadak meaning righteous. Nawa. Nawa means R. All right. So our righteousness. So, okay. Shall be called Yahweh Tazadak Nawa, which is Yahweh, our righteousness. Which is a title, but his the actual name of the, which this title is talking about Yahweh Shah, but the name of the Father is within this title, all right. Uh, so that has been the Hebrew edification, Jeremiah the twenty third chapter, the fifth and sixth verse, all right. Feel free to ask any questions or concerns uh, in regarding of uh, the phonetics. Uh, the interpretation, and anything in regarding edification. All right, shalom and keep the faith.